Good afternoon. We're going to do a quick introduction to JSON. Now, why is this relevant? Well, a lot of API calls are in JSON format. And this is really, really key because if you want to get information from a third party or an external source, for example, if you want to get stock quotes from Yahoo's API, then you're going to need to know how to access the volume the closing prices, lows, highs, etc. Uh, but this is applicable across the web as more and more JSON is being used as the data format of choice. So we're going to bring in a really sweet tool called JSON Lint. You can visit jsonlint.com. Helps tell us whether or not our JSON is valid. So in this case, we're just going to take this tiny chunk and we're going to parse it to make sure it's working. Now it doesn't like this current format. So we're going to clean it up. I'm going to create an object in JavaScript, which is enclosed with curly braces. Within that object is an array, which is the square bracket. And within the array are more objects. Got all that? Object, array, object, data points. So now let's check that. We've got the all clear. Giddy up. So let's work with this a little bit. We'll copy it and we'll come into our developer tools. And I'm going to create a variable called data. Set it equal to that object. So you've got object with 43 arrays in it. Interesting. So what's the difference between an object and an array? Well, let's ask the console. So objects and arrays are different. But what if we do this? Oh, same thing. OK, cool. So an array is indexed numerically. So we've got an array with four elements. And if I want to get the last, or make it easier if I want to get the first, just going to do that. If I want to get the last, do that. Now you'll notice that they're indexed at zero. This is common across many languages. Same thing in JavaScript. Now an object is keys and values. It's referenced slightly differently with dot notation. So if I call object.key, it's going to return me that string value. OK, well, that's pretty simple stuff. What about when we've got more complex data structures, like in this array? They all have a corresponding number, tells us their position. Within this object, they all have these values, key value pair, key value, key value. So if I do data, dot quote. It's going to give me all of these objects. So let's drill one deeper and I'm going to look for the first. Now we've got a singular object which has a date. It has a open, close. We can do something like var range equals data dot quote reference the second element the closing value and we're going to do the same thing for the first but we're going to subtract the two so that's going to tell us the difference when we call range so now we know that on day zero minus day one We've got this range. So it gives you an idea of how you can access data from inside of objects. When it comes to arrays, we're going to use numerical indexing. And when it comes to objects, we're going to use a key to give us a value. This is very important. And then, of course, you can chain them all together and get just about any bit of information you want out of these objects. 
That is an introduction to JSON. Thanks for watching.